Hey guys, Sande here doing another audio commentary. And today I'm going to bring you a matchup between Stork and 4GG. This is for the WCG, the World Cyber Games. Stork being the Protoss player and 4GG being the Terran player. This is going to be played on Blue Storm. Blue Storm, uh, a two-person map that most people know about if you have any background with StarCraft at all. Such a common map. Let's just say that Jadong has signed his names behind the natural expansion with Mutalisk. <laughs> However Mutalisk can sign things. Anyways, um, this is, yeah, as I said, this will this is Stork vs. 4GG. Stork is actually 62% against Terran, so that is a pretty good percentage. Anything above 50 is considered good. And 4GG is a whopping 65% against Protoss, so 4GG definitely has, um, skill playing against Protoss, I guess you could say. So 4GG coming off the hot win of Jadong. Not only did he beat Jadong, but he swept Jadong 3-0 in the um, MSL Finals. So that was just a huge deal. So for those who didn't get a chance to watch that, definitely check it out. I don't think I'm uh, going to get in trouble for spoiling that because that was a while ago. So this is going to be played on Blue Storm, and Stork will be spawning in the bottom left-hand corner, corner, and 4GG will be spawning in the top right-hand corner. This map, uh, Protoss vs. Terran, Protoss wins about 44% of the time, while Terran wins 56% of the time. And you can thank my high school for that quick math. Anyways, uh, we saw 4GG smiling, so he might still be getting um, some praise for his uh, amazing play in the MSL Finals. Actually, some people were mad at him, kind of, because they did beat Jadon. Because uh, 4GG, uh, 4GG and Jadon were teammates when they played each other in the MSL Finals. So, that would be really hard, I have to admit. Like, I don't know if I'd really want to play my teammate, per se. I don't know, I just think that would ruin friendships in a way. You took my MSL friend. You took my MSL ring or whatever, or mouse, <laughs> however, whatever you went for that. Anyways, so I'm gonna get back to the game here. Stork is in the bottom left-hand corner. 4GG is in the top right once again. 4GG will be very standardly blocking himself in, so we're not gonna be seeing any kind of cheese here. This is gonna be a longer type game, and I'm I'm a pretty big Stork fan. I really like his style of play, and I really like what he offers to the um, to the pro scene. But this blue storm, so it does favor Terran a little bit. Not a huge thing. Stork is definitely a talented enough player to overcome this uh, this challenge because this map is pretty good for Terran, and he is. So he is throwing up a 14 nexus. So wow, we are seeing a very wow. So definitely Stork wants to take the economic lead early. He is throwing up a 14 nexus. A 14 nexus is probably going to come out to be a pretty good play but just because he saw 4GG is um he's 4GG is blocking himself in so that's going to give the benefit to Stork if he can get this 14 is booming without too much too much harassment early game I feel he's going to definitely take a lead and he's actually going to stick that probe in there try to delay the scout so he can get some defense up and not let 4GG know he's doing a 14 Nexus for as long as possible so now this SCV will be uh, forced to walk around so that's just going to save a little time for Stork to get a little more prepped up every second and every every second really counts in the game of StarCraft, especially at the pro scene. So now he is throwing up the barracks. So a four, that was odd. I was not expecting a 14 Nexus. So this is definitely going to be an exciting game just because that is one crazy opening. I mean, it's it's not like he did it against a Zerg, so it's much safer against a Terran. And he probably felt that 4GG was going to block himself in that he, so he thinks he could get his, um, his economy booming quickly. So his gateway is up and he is transferring probes to his natural expansion. So de definitely going to take the economic lead and he actually put a probe at the choke of 4GG's base and at a probe at the at the choke of his own base. So the SCV had to wander all the way around the base. So this scouting SCV is definitely getting tired quickly. Anyway, so now the Cybernex core is going up. So Stork is going to play it very standardly after he opened up with a 14 Nexus. 4GG, he realizes right now that he probably needs to do something about this. He can't just let um, Stork take, have a one base advantage so early early and so easy so now he will be throwing up a command center himself so that's his counter to it he says instead of harassing it and taking it over because I'm not prepared to do that I will match the expansion and force Stork to, um, to get one ahead again so now a zealot is out so the zealot is going to be chasing around that scouting SCV and now vultures are out so these vultures vultures so strong against zealots it's going to Stork needs to get 
Stork is in a pretty good situation right now, I think, if he can just hold off this Vulture, but I'm sure he will be able to hold off this Vulture because it only is one Vulture, but, and now a Dragoon is out, so that will definitely be able to hold off this Vulture. This Vulture is going to try to go and get another Scout in and maybe get a couple shots at the Probe because Dragoons are not quite as quick as the, um, the speedy Vultures. So Vultures, he's going to go around, he's going to get some probe shots off, so there's one probes go down, so he's going to lose one probe, this is important that Stork doesn't lose too many probes, and the Dragoon's coming out, so this is some early game harassment now, Pro Stork not showing, showing decent probe micro, keeping him away from the Vulture, but he does lose two probes already, so this is a good start for 4GG, I feel 4GG, he loses the Vulture, but definitely worth it, he did kill two probes, two probes doesn't seem like much but at this level every little probe matters and yes probes are pretty small so I don't know that wasn't even funny I don't even know why I said that anyways um tank is out to skill this scout to kill this scouting probe so 4GG definitely I feel he did the perfect counter for that he saw 14 nexus so he bought but uh brought an early vulture for some easy harassment and now he got an expansion of his own so we are seeing another expansion from stork stork is throwing up another nexus so i feel stork is going for some kind of three base build we might be seeing three base carriers just because i feel that he got this expansion up so early we are six minutes and 22 seconds into this game and stork has thrown up another expansion and now he's getting a robotics facility he has a robotics facility going up he's probably gonna go for the quick uh, um observer so and it probably a night i really like what stork's doing right now he saw that 4gg was gonna bunker up not really bunker up but kind of play it very standardly and safe so he's gonna throw up another expansion kill all scouting for 4gg so 4gg has no idea about that third expansion and i think he's gonna be surprised when he sees how far um the expansion is uh going like how many probes the probes will already be there probably by the next time 4gg scouts so 4gg already playing in the dark and i definitely am giving the lead to um stork if anyone has the lead just because he only lost two probes right now but he has another expansion he's gonna throw up a pile on wall to stop vulture harassment from that angle so now he's gonna be able to pick up this scv so no scouting for 4gg 4gg has no idea that stork has the third expansion so this is definitely this is gonna be good looking good for stork Stork, if he can um, contain, if he can maintain these three bases without uh, allowing too much harassment, though, because now 4GG is pushing out. So I don't know what Stork's gonna be able to do to hold this off. That is four tanks, and Stork only, and Stork only has about five goons. So we're gonna see Stork's um, micro do the best, and Stork is throwing up an observatory. The observ, I'm a little late on that, sorry, but the observatory is going up. So we are gonna be seeing. Um, Observer, so he's gonna play this very standard after he takes a huge economic lead, I'd say. So now he's gonna have to play this safe. That he has no observers out, so he can't lose his goons. He cannot be careless with these goons. 4GG gonna put up a little contain in the middle of the map and maintain the middle. Maintaining the middle is such a big part of Terran play that um, 4GG is definitely gonna do that. And now Stork is throwing up a robotic support bay, so we are going to be seeing um, Reavers. So he's gonna throw up the observatory for observers, and then he's gonna get quick Reavers. Reavers so powerful. So so strong, probably going to use him for harassment to give himself even a bigger economic lead. Stork showing his amazing goon micro there. Oh, he loses one goon, but he took about a, took out about six, five to six mines. So definitely decent, or not decent, above decent. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that that's pretty impressive goon micro. I'm not even sure how they really do this micro. It's just so insane how good they are at that. 